Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on head injury, where I will talk about missile and non-missile head injury, primary, and secondary head injuries. For introduction, in the UK, head injuries account for annual attendance rates at A&E of almost 1 million patients. Head injuries account for 9 deaths per 100,000 population, and in young males account for 15 to 20 percent of all deaths. Head injuries may be classified as follows, missile injury to the brain, or non-missile injury to the brain. First, missile injury to the brain is typically caused by bullets. This may result in depressed injuries, where missile causes depressed skull fracture with contusion, but does not enter brain. Penetrating injuries, where missile enters cranial cavity but does not exit, resulting in focal damage. Perforating injury, where missile enters and exits from cranial cavity, usually resulting in severe extensive hemorrhage around the track of the bullet. Next, is non-missile injury to the brain. This is more common than missile injury. This ranges from relatively minor injuries to severe injuries, which may be fatal. Main damage to brain occurs as a result of acceleration or deceleration forces causing rotational and shearing forces acting on the mobile brain anchored within a rigid skull. The types of brain damage occurring in non-missile injuries may be classified as primary or secondary brain injury. Primary brain injury is the immediate result of trauma. It results in contusions, lacerations, and diffuse brain damage. Treatment cannot reverse primary brain injury. Whereas for secondary brain injury, it is a result of complications. Prevention, recognition, and treatment is the mainstay of management of patients with head injuries. There are two main forms in primary brain damage, which are focal damage and diffuse axonal injury. For focal damage, the commonest type of focal damage is contusion. It often occurs at site of impact, particularly if skull fracture. It may be more severe on the side opposite the impact, such as contracoup. Large contusions may be associated with intracerebral hemorrhage. And it may be associated with tears of cranial nerves. Whereas for diffuse axonal injury, this results where there is shearing of axons as a result of acceleration, deceleration, or torsional forces. Changes are usually only detectable histologically. Useful pointers to an occurrence are pedicheal hemorrhages in the corpus chiosum, and the cerebellar peduncles patients who have sustained diffuse axonal injury and survive are generally severely disabled. Next is secondary brain damage. This results from complications developing after the moment of injury. Complications include intracranial hemorrhage, cerebral hypoxia, cerebral edema, intracranial herniation, and cerebral infection like meningitis. The complications of non-missile head injuries are, post-concussion syndrome resulting in headache, dizziness, fatigue, poor memory, and labile emotional state. Post-traumatic epilepsy, persistent vegetative state, post-traumatic dementia, and brainstem death. That's all for this video. Thank you.